California dealer says resisting sticker markups is good business. In automotive news, you're darn right it's good business. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth, my kick-butt partner here on the show. <laughs> For the first time ever on the Homework Guy broadcast, what are we doing today, Elizabeth? We are endorsing a car dealership. And which dealership is that, Liz? It's Capistrano Mazda and Capistrano Volkswagen, located in California, under the ownership of Miles Brandon. That's right, San Juan, California. I hope you stay glued to this show until the very end. And every dealer and every car salesman who trolls us here on this channel, <laughs> well, you need to be listening right now. So the chip shortage, as well as pent-up demand for new and used vehicles, has created the perfect storm for mismatched supply and demand. And dealers everywhere are taking advantage of vehicle shortages by adding big markups to vehicles or ladling on thousands of dollars in add-ons. Everyone except for who, Liz? Capistrano Mazda and Capistrano Volkswagen in California. Whereas the sticker price used to be the upper end of transaction price on dealer lots, it's now the starting point, but not at Capistrano dealerships owned by Miles Brandon in Southern California. As tempting as it may be, because millions of dollars are on the table, Brandon is one of the good guys, and he is sticking to his decades-old pledge not to sell above sticker price. He's been doing this for a while. He said, I feel sticker is a fair price. Brandon's first temptation to add market adjustments to high demand vehicles came in the late 1990s after he bought Capistrano Volkswagen in the coastal town of San Juan Capistrano. The launch of the new Beetle was just nine months away and customers were asking whether the dealership would take orders for the highly anticipated revival of the German automotive legend. More importantly, buyers wanted to know if Brandon would add thousands of dollars as other dealers in the region were doing. Those are both easy questions for me, Brandon told Automotive News. Yes to orders, no to markups. We quickly developed a huge order bank at times in excess of 250 vehicles. Way to go, Brandon. Yeah. While the new Beetle launch 20 years ago can't be compared to the widespread inventory shortage of today, the debate over market adjustments hasn't changed very much. Brandon has a great mentor, the now retired San Diego auto dealer, Ken Neiman, who felt strongly about never selling above sticker price. One of Neiman's lessons was, it's easier to replace a car than a customer. That's awesome. Amen. Brandon says, I lost sleep one night thinking about how much I was leaving on the table, but I realized that most customers don't think in terms of supply and demand curves, and making friends for life is more important than catching the big one today. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. The typical $3,000 markup for the new Beetle back when it launched, multiplied by hundreds of cars, would have meant millions of dollars back in the day. While there was a steady supply of Beetles from the factory, Volkswagen couldn't catch up with demand for 18 months. That created an opportunity to make extra cash on markups or make a lot of loyal customers for life. Among his satisfied new Beetle customers was a local couple who worked in marketing. They helped the dealership develop the Smileage Guarantee, a set of promises and perks. One promise is that no vehicle is sold over sticker price, regardless of popularity. We created our slogan, Smileage Guaranteed, over 20 years ago. Actually, a customer helped us create it. One day, a customer came in and told me, what is it that is so special here? Everybody is smiling, everybody's happy. There's a bunch of Smileage here, and our slogan was born. But it's really, really about the people. It starts with our customers. We don't look at our customers as just a car sale or just a repair order. We look at our customers as wanting to be on their journey for a long time, many years of miles and smiles for their automotive needs. And that's all possible with our incredible team. We go out of our way to find people that can treat customers the way we want them to be treated, the smileage guaranteed way. That means we bring people in from other industries, from coffee shops and shoe stores and hotels and restaurants that have great customer service skills and we teach them to sell and service cars our way. So in other words, we have really low turnover in this high turnover industry because we do all that work up front. What that means for our customers is you'll see the same faces time after time. We have salespeople that have sold seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty 10, 20 cars to the same customer. And that's just a great experience when it's all about feeling like you're part of the family. There's stuff too. Obviously, we have the way we price our cars, price right for used cars. Uh, whenever there's a hot car that most dealers charge over sticker for, we've never charged one penny of additional dealer markup. 
and um, we do a lot of fun events too um, and all kinds of things that just lets our customers know that we care about them not just today but down the road as well. Perks include a seven-day return policy and a knowledgeable staff focused on, listen closely here, customer satisfaction. Brandon added a ground-up Mazda dealership next door to the Volkswagen store in 2015. The smileage guarantee at the two San Juan dealerships was the focus of an automotive news story back in 2019. And last year, combined sales of the two dealerships were 2012 new vehicles and 780 used vehicles, down only slightly from 2019. Brandon is sticking with the sticker price promise in the current climate, even though he agrees markups could be justified for limited edition models that could be flipped for a profit. But maintaining a loyal customer base and a relatively small slice of the Southern California car market is more important than windfall profits, he said. And current profits, even at sticker, isn't something he hears dealers complaining about much. Of course not. It's record profits across the board for everyone. There's an additional benefit here as well. Happy store employees handing the keys to happy customers without any of the common markup drama. In today's market, sticker price is considered a good deal for both sides. It actually has to feel good to work on that lot. Yeah. In addition, the Capistrano dealerships aren't pushing equipment add-ons to pad the price. As part of the vehicle transaction, customers aren't obligated to buy anything beyond their new Volkswagen or Mazda, Brandon said. Eat your heart out, Shaka Dyson. <laughs> Brandon also said, I had other dealers ask me if people will remember that I wasn't charging them over sticker price. I said, no, they won't all remember, but some sure will. Well, Brandon, we're going to help make sure they don't forget. We just put a video out on how to purchase an out-of-state car. If you're in the market for a new Volkswagen or Mazda, consider traveling to San Juan Capistrano in Southern California. Let's make these guys heroes in the car business. I want to express heartfelt appreciation to those of you who have asked how you can contribute to my medical expenses. As you might have guessed, my household is swimming in medical bills right now. For your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box below. And right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going towards Kevin's medical expense. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends, especially this one. Mm -hmm. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great Homework Guy content. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.